Hello, my name is Paul and I am the exercise lead for today's progression circuits. I'm with my colleague here, Alison. Today's circuit consists of two cardiovascular exercises, 45 seconds each, with a 15 second gap in between, followed by a resistance exercise, which lasts for 45 seconds, with a 15 second gap, and this should last for around 15 minutes. We're now going to start off with your warm up, so we're going to ask you to keep your feet moving and standing or sitting. So, I want you just to march your feet to start with. And as I say, if you're sitting down, just keep your foot and feet moving nice and gentle. If you're standing up, I want you to think about that posture we asked you to do before that shoulders back, chest high. And all we're going to do is start off mobilising the shoulders. So, with me, just slowly roll back the shoulders. To see, it, you can do all the exercises sitting or standing. And from here, same again with the shoulders, but just gently rolling forward. And from there, let your arms just float to the side and start to move to the front and back. That's it. And with your feet sitting or standing, just take them slightly apart. And bring your feet back in together again. Now what we're going to do in the warm-up is demonstrate all of the exercises I'm going to ask you to have a go at today. So that'll be 10 exercises. Some will be resistant exercises and some will be cardiovascular where maybe it work a little bit harder and a little bit faster. So one more time, take your feet wide, just mobilising your hips. And bring your feet back together again. So the first one, again sitting or standing. Just legs only, is alternate, a heel push, pushing your feet forward and back. That's heel out to the front. As I say, just keep your arms to the side, keep your feet moving. Bring it on the spot and bring it back to a march. Next one we're going to do is just a basic toe tap. So that again is alternate and just tap your toe forward and back. That's good. And again, with me on the spot, march it out. So as you can see, you can do all exercises, sitting or standing. Next one we're going to do is taking your feet slightly apart. So for the ones who are standing, it's going to be a hamstring curl. For the ones who are sitting in your chair, we're going to ask you to curl your feet between the space of the chair legs. If that's still a little too uncomfortable, you could take them to the side and tap them either side of the chair as well. At the minute, we're just concentrating on legs only. One more, and march. That was your hamstring curl. Next one we're going to ask you to do is your knee lift. Again, we're going to go no higher than hip height, so if you're standing, just bring your knee up and down from the front. If you're sitting down again, think of that posture, nice and tall. If anyone is standing, and the balance isn't very good, you could use the back of a chair or a bench, Put your hands on the bench and just lift your knees. That's alternating your ears up and down. One more and march it on the spot. Next one, we will normally be using a step for this one, we haven't got any steps. What we're going to do is improvise. So for the ones who are standing, is just step forward and step back. And again, if you're on the chair, just tap forward and back, alternate your legs. You can do it the heel version and you just tap your toes forward and back. If anyone has got a step at home, you could use a nice low step and go onto it. Same leg on, same leg off. One more and march. Leave it till the end, the last version. I'll show you the standard version first, then we'll demonstrate the sitting down version. This one's going to be the knee bends. So you would take your feet apart and you would push your bone back and you would bend. Making sure you've got a good posture, chin out forward, chest up high, push that bone back. For the ones who are sitting in your chair, you've got a couple of versions. You can do a leg extension, keeping your leg forward and back. Or if you can, you can also do a sit and stand. So you stand up, slightly harder, then back down. So we're giving you three versions. One from standing up, and two from sitting down. If you're the ones who are standing up and need to do it, well, support yourself. You can again use the front of the chair or a bench, support yourself and bend and push. 
Now, what I'm going to do now is demonstrate to you the exercises we'll ask you to do, which are resistant exercises. The first one, nice and gentle bicep curls. Sitting or standing, just keep your feet moving at all times. Make a fist, bring it up and down. If you wanted to, you can also use some resistant exercises, what we'll show you later on in the circuit, where you add some apparatus in as well. So that's your bicep curl. Watch it on the spot. Next one, tuck your elbows in, rotate our arm cuff, bring it out and in. We're looking for good posture, we're looking for the elbows tucked in, bring your hands in and out. If you wanted to, you can also come in and cross your arms over and out. That's called a rotator cuff exercise, mainly working the shoulder muscles inner and out of the shoulders. And relax, hands to the side. Next one. Upright work row, work your neck and your shoulders, palms facing down, bring your hands up to your chest, again sitting or standing. Now again, if anyone can't do both arms at the same time, your version would be single arm. So again, you just do one arm at a time, or if anyone out there can't do both arms together, you will really use one arm, you just do the one arm version, whatever arm is comfortable for you. That's called an upright row. And moving forward, next one, front arm raise. So keep your back nice and straight, sitting or standing. Bring your hand to the front, raise it up and down. Again, don't go any higher than shoulder height. If you want to take and alternate your arms and do single arms, so one arm at a time, nice and controlled, and throughout, keep those feet moving, sitting or standing. That's your front arm raise. And the last one, probably the harder one, the side arm raise. So take it out of the side, go no higher than shoulder height. So either both arms together, or like we've done before, if you struggle with that, start in the centre and do single arms one at a time. Or if you're going to use one arm, you choose the arm you can do, just do a couple of extensions to the side and relax. Just one more before we finish, we're going to run through all of them together. So, you can do your heel pushes and your curls. So you're using your arms and legs together. You could do a toe tap with a front arm raise, either both arms together or one arm at a time. And march it in, taking your feet apart, you could do a hamstring curl. And you can use your arms in any action you want. You can pull them back and forwards. You can curl them. You can even do a front arm raise, whatever you fancy. But once you use your arms with your legs, it's slightly harder in the workout. One more, and march. We're sure you have to do the knee lift. You could do a hand tap to the knee. You could do both arms together. And again, you can do all this sitting down. Just think about keeping that back nice and straight. And relax. We're sure you have to do the step ups or out and in so you could use those arms and you could just drive them forward and back. Same again on the seat. Push those legs forward and back. Or if need be, you could tap them to the side if you can't do that. March on the spot. And then the last one, the harder one, the squats. Just press the arms forward and back. You could do leg extensions. You could just do your sit to stands. And if you wanted to, I'll just demonstrate one more time sit to stands. Bring it up and down. So they're the exercises we're going to ask you to have a go at in a second when we do the main part of the circuit. So hopefully at this stage now, we'll loosen yourself up. Heart rate's a little bit faster. We've mobilised the joints and the muscles and we're ready to start the circuit. We're going to have a nice exercise, we're going to exercise safely. And relax. Have a little drink if need be, and we'll come back and start the circuit in a minute. Right, everybody, our first exercise today is going to be the heel digs. We did this two in a warm up, so we'll get started. Just alternate heels, press to the floor. Now, with the head to the warm-up, if you want to use your arms, we can use your arms. We're stretching the calf muscle, in with the music, 
Remember, that's 45 seconds, 15 seconds rest, and then we'll start the next exercise. You can look here, Alison, she's doing her stood up. She'll be doing stood and sat, depending how she feels. That's it, stay with this. That's it, keep on going with these. Arms in, stretch the calf out. Here we're going to have a rest now for 15 seconds. The following exercise we're going to do, hamstring curl. This was done during the warm up. Just take it nice and easy. Take the heels up at the height that you are happy with. There we go. We're off of there now. So just bring the heels up at the height you are happy with. Bring the arms in if you wish. Chest press if you wish. The more body parts moving, the more calories we're going to be using up. So just keep on going with this. At any time, if you feel too tired, just lower your feet, don't let them as high, or take the arms out. So this is 45 seconds, we've done around 15 seconds already. And forward in this one, we'll be doing some resistance exercise with the bicep curls. So just keep the hands, keep them going, chest height. Just keep raising them heels up. There we are. Bicep curl, we've done them during the warm up, elbows by your side, take your time up, take your time down, keep your feet moving at all times, a bit of resistance work, never goes amiss. There we go, bring them up and take them down. Keep your feet moving, you can walk around like I'm doing if you wish, or we can just march on the spot, or we can do what Alison's doing, she's got a resistance band there and she's doing a seated bicep curl. Lots of options for this bit of activity. Just keep your feet moving all the time. Control up and control down. So just from the side, elbows are by my side at all the time. I'm not swinging, I'm controlling from the side up and down. We've got another 10 seconds here, and from there we're going to be doing some knee lifts. We did them during the warm up, so we know how to do them. A few more seconds here. Now if you use any resistance items, make sure you put them somewhere safe so you're not going to fall over them at the next little bit. So the next thing, next bit is knee lifts. So either a gentle tap, or if you want, you can just take it a little bit higher, but at a height that's comfortable to yourself. So just bring it up. If you want to put a twist in, work your obliques, that's absolutely fine. If you've got a back back, that may not be an option. So just bring up the knees. Alison has got one hand on the chair, just for support. You can do the seated, like I say, you can do Alison's version, or you can do my version. So we've got 20 more seconds here, and from there we're going to do a box step after this. So just bring up the knees, if you start to get tired, just reduce the height of your knee. 10 seconds here. Well done everybody, next exercise, the box step. Narrow stance, I'm taking it wide, I'm bringing it narrow. Taking it wide, bring it narrow. Keep your feet moving, do these intervals, grab a drink if you need one. Go wide, bring it in. That's it, nice and relaxed. Keep yourself nice and upright, nice and straight. Let's protect the back, work your abs as well by being nice and straight. That's it. Once again, Alison is doing her version by helping with the chair. Now just take this at your pace, mind. We've got 10 more seconds here and we're going back to the resistance exercise. That's it, keep it going. Well done, everybody. Back to the weights, if you're using any, elbows right by your side, arms roughly around 90 degrees. We're just going over and under, we're keeping the feet moving at all times. Keep your circulation going, that's very important. So there we go. Alison is using the bands for her rotator cuff exercise. I've got my hand weights. You can use tins of beans, tins of peas, anything you wish. Make sure you keep your feet moving at all times, keep the circulation going. 
at any time. If you start to tire, just put the hand weights down, do without. So the next exercise after this is the knee bends. We'll demonstrate that, we'll get them going after this exercise. There we are, put the weights down so we're safe. But the knee bends next. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to keep my head up, keep my chest up from the side, and I'm just slightly pushing my bum out. As soon as I feel the strain, I'm coming back up. So just slight and push, straight back up, head up, chest up, keep these abs in use. From the front, head up, push back. Alison here is doing the sit to stand. You can always use your hands on the chair if you need a bit of leverage. So push your bum back and head up. Push your bum back. As soon as you feel the strain, come back up again. So once again, I'm going to go from the side. And from this, your heels should never come off the floor when you stood up. All the pressure, all the weight is going through your heels. You could even wiggle your toes, so that means you're doing it right. Brilliant stuff. Well done, everybody. So, going back to the heel digs, the first exercise that we did. You should be getting a little bit of a sweat on our work. I feel my heart rate a bit, heart's racing because of them knee bends. Full body exercise. Heel digs again. And I'm going to bring my arms with this one. Pressing down the heels. I'm going to just bring the arms in because it feels natural when I'm doing it. Bicep curl with the heel dig. That's it. Remember, this is at your pace. So we're doing 90 seconds of cardiovascular exercise compared to one minute on the beginner's session. That's it. 20 seconds here. Keep it going, less than 10 seconds, then we go back to the resistance. Well done. Right. Next one, upright row. Very important here, keep the feet moving. Your hands are very close to your body, we're leading from the elbows, so the elbows are always higher than your wrists. Keep this as close as you can to your body. So nice and straight, straight up, straight down. Very and soft. Excellent shoulder exercises, toning, strengthening. Keep your feet moving. That's it. So Alison is doing hers with the resistance band. At any time, if you need a little breather, just put your hand weights down, have a rest. Make sure you keep on using the fluids up. Got 10 seconds here. Keep it this for five more seconds. Well done. Hamstrings round two. So going back to the hamstring curl. We've done this once again. We just take the heels up. You may be getting a little bit more tired now. Do what you can. Bring the heels to a head that you're happy with. Alison is using the chair to lean on. Try not to put pressure on your hands when you're using a chair. So chest press. We're going to have a little bit of a variation on this one. So that's it, so just keep it going. And then now I'm just going to take your arms to the side. See if you can match this. This is not just a physical exercise, there's a bit of mental exercise here. I've got it at 3 o'clock and a 9 o'clock. There we are. And just to vary it one more time, I'm just going to take my hand up. That's it. Take the hand up, brilliant stuff. Five more seconds here. And have a little breather there. Keep your feet moving, grab a drink if you need to. So we're going back to the knee lifts. See, I'm still, I'm still on the move, I'm still going. So a few more exercises to go, knee lifts next. Alison is using the chair for support. So off we go, just bring up your knee. It's going to be a height that you are happy with. That's it, just keep it going. Like I say, you've got to put a twist in. Here we are, a bit of a twist. Work your obliques. So, work your stomach muscles at the same time. That's it. 
matters. Now keep on saying, if you need a drink, you've got to get yourself a drink. If you need a breather, have a breather. This is your workout. 10 seconds here. That's it. Well done everybody, three seconds. Back to the hand weights. Front raise everybody. Options are, we're doing one at a time. Or both together. Up to you, whichever you find the best. So I'm bringing it up, my feet are still moving, no higher than my shoulder height. I do it from the side, so no higher than shoulder height. I'm still moving, I'm still marching on the spot. Alison is doing her version with the resistance band. Right, done. This can be quite hard, this front raise one, so if you need to have a breather, just put your hand weights down, continue without. That's it, got 15 seconds here. Keep it moving, keep it going. Well done everybody. Final two exercises for the cardiovascular. We're going back to the box step. So once again, the narrow stance, we're just taking it wide and bring it narrow. That's the plan. So keep on the move. There we are, wide and bring it in. That's it. And once again, Alison is up off the chair, she's doing her version, which is using the chair, just to assist her. That's it. Heels down, bring it back. That's it, well done. That's it. Keep on the march. From after this one, we've got the knee bend, and that's the last of the cardiovascular exercises. That's it. Ten seconds here. Keep going, a few more seconds. Well done. Last exercise, cardiovascular, knee bends. We've discussed them before. Head up, chest up, push back, straight back up. Heels glued to the floor. Don't let your heels come off the floor. Head up, off we go. There we are. It's just a slight knee bend. That's all we're doing. Working these big muscles. A couple more here, then I'm going to go side on. Alison is doing sit the stands. So from the side, head up again, push back and straight back. That's it. Slight move back and bring it back up again. That's it. Whatever we're doing, we're not leaning forward from the waist. We're always got our head up, the chest up. We're always pushing back. Every pressure you've got is going through your heels. Here we are, keep this going, a few more seconds here. Then we'll go to the last resistance exercise. Well done everybody. Last one, side raise. So I'm going up, no higher than my shoulder height, and I'm coming back down again. Up here, and down, and I'm moving on the spot. I'll keep on moving all the time. So take it up, and bring it down. Now the more bend you've got in your elbow, the easier this is. So if we give it here, that's not bad. You have it quite straight, I can't put a bit of tension on your neck and on your shoulders to so be aware that you don't want it to be as straight as that. Where in the elbow is the best. No higher than your shoulder head. That's it. We keep on the move. 15 seconds here. Once again, Alison is doing her version, she's doing single side raise. Well done everybody, so that was a 15 minute workout of the progression circuit. By yourself Paul, exercise lead, and Alison. Hope you're feeling well, and just be aware of any aches and pains you may feel over the next few days, because it is a progression group. Thank you very much. And we're now in the last part of the session, which is a cool down. And the idea of the cool down is to help you recover, let your heart rate slowly come back down. And we're also going to put some stretches in for the main muscle groups that we've been using throughout the session. So again, if we just start with the march, 
And the idea is that when I sort of phase the arm movements out, which will help your heart rate to decrease as well. So we'll keep the feet moving, sitting or standing. We're just going to take the feet hip width apart. We're just going to try and mirror what we did in the warm up, but on the cool down, it's a bit slower. And just bring the feet together. And we'll try that one more time, slowly out and slowly in. So as you're marching, for the ones who are standing with me, take your feet hip width apart and the same if you're sitting down and just try and tap your feet together. So if you're sitting down, just a little step in and out. I want you to pick up your left arm, take it across your body as far as it can go. Then with your right hand, if you're wearing a watch or a bracelet, take a hold where that would be and pull it into your body as far as you can. You should be feeling the stretch on the outer side of your, sh your shoulder and your tricep muscle. I want you to hold it for a minute of at least 10 seconds. Make sure you give the muscle nice time to relax and loosen off. And we're going to repeat that to the other side. So keeping the feet moving, or if you want to, you can just take it back to a basic march. Just loosen the arms out and slowly take your hand across to the other side. So that's giving you a nice stretch for the outer part of your shoulder and the outer part of the tricep muscle. If you can't take both arms across, so say just leave one arm out, just do the arm that you feel comfortable with. So that's your first arm stretch, and just relax and just loosen out gently. And this time what we're going to do is show you how to do the leg stretch. So with me, just slowly, we start off in the class just showing some heel digs. So keep this movement going, but not as fast as the, uh, the circuit. And when I say so, we're going to keep one foot forward, and one foot back. So we'll count you in and with me after four. So it goes four, three, two. Keep that foot forward. Push the bum back slightly, standing or sitting. Pull the toes back towards you. Place your hands on top of your hips or if you're standing up on your bench support the leg, lean forward. I'll come to the side so you can see. And it gives you a lovely stretch through the hamstring muscle. Chin up, chest out. I want you to hold it there for a few more seconds if you can. And on the spot or sitting, march you on the spot, just now change to the next leg. Same again. Heel down, pull the toe back, push the bum back, place your hands where they should be, I'll go on the sides so you can see and feel a lovely stretch running right through the hamstring. If you're sitting in your chair, you just lean slightly further forward and it gives you more of a stretch for the big muscle group. Hold it for a few more seconds. On the spot, sitting back to a march. This time we're going to move to the under part of the arm. So all I want you to do is just one at a time, just touch the shoulders. And again, when I say so, with me, and I'll count you in, we're going to hold your hand on your shoulders. After four, three, two, put your right hand on your shoulder, and lift your right elbow into the air, as high as it feels comfortable for yourself. With your left hand on the fleshy part under your arm, gently apply some pressure and push back. And that should give you a lovely stretch under your arm. What we don't want to see is to hold on to the joint of the elbow, just push it on the fleshy part of the arm. If you can't do that, just keep it back like that. Hold it for a few more seconds, a little loosen out, and change arms. Take it over, gently apply some pressure, and push back. and slowly relax. So now we're going to finish off, we've got a couple more stretches left, so we've got the calf stretch coming up now. That's the bottom part of the angle, so what we're sitting or standing, what I want you to do is just like a heel push, just push it out and in, that's it, keep it moving. We're going to take it to a toe tap, then all we're going to do is march it on the spot again for the final time, then with me, what we want you to do is to put if you stand up, left foot forward, right foot back. So I'll stand on the side so you can see what I'm doing. Both feet flat on the ground, slightly bend at the knee of the front leg. Lean forward and push your weight through your back leg. If you sit in your chair, just lift the heels off the ground, and then slowly back down. If you want it to, you can hold it up for a few seconds, and then down. Chest high, chin up, feel the stretch, and feel it holding and go right into the calf muscle of the back leg. Then with me, just come in, change legs, bend your front leg again, 
push your back heel down if you need to. Where the chair would come in handy, you could use the back of your chair, put your weight against your chair, lean forward. If you are sitting and you want to get out of your chair, you could do it that way, or you could just sit and just gently raise, the muscle, raise your calf muscles up and down. Hold it for a couple more seconds. And we're going to take it sitting or standing on the spot to a nice gentle march. And as you can see, it's not as fast as we were doing the warm up. Now we're going to finish off for your chest muscles and your back and your shoulders. So with me, if you can, put both hands onto your chest. Chin up, then bring your right hand out to the side. If you're okay, repeat that to the left side. Now from here, that might be as far as you get, so that still gives you a chest stretch. If you're okay, drop one hand to the bottom of your spine and slowly take your hand down as well to the side. Squeeze in your shoulder blades and stick out your chest. So again, on the side, it looks like that. And it gives you a lovely stretch running right across the front of your chest. Hold it there for a couple of seconds, but as you can see, we're still keeping with feet moving and we haven't stopped the session yet. I want you to reverse the, uh, the stretch. So again, sitting or standing, just relax. Take your feet hip width apart. Soften your knees and then bring one hand to the front. Repeat that to the other side. Don't lock your fingers, just place your hands together. So from your side, it looks like that. And we're giving you a lovely stretch when you're right across your back and your shoulders. Tuck your chin into your chest and hold it for a few seconds. Make sure that you still keep breathing in and out as normal rather than holding your breath when you're doing your stretches. Bring your hands in, just let your hands go down to the side. We start the session off with some shoulder rolls and we're going to finish that off. Because with the stretching you sometimes find that you get a bit of a tension in your neck and your shoulders. So with some small rolls, not too fast, not too big, reverse and back around the other way. Also, you might have found you've got some tension on your neck muscles, so we're going to help loosen off your neck now, just before the session finishes. So keeping your hands down at the side, with me, take your head across to the right hand side. Hold it for a few seconds, gently keeping the feet moving, bring it back to the centre. Then slowly take your head across to the other side. This will help your neck, and bring it back towards me. With a little tilt uh, of the chin, just bring your head forward. This works the back of your neck and shoulder muscles. And bring your head up. Providing you've got good balance, the ones who are standing up, just drop your ear across the one shoulder and feel the stretch running down the side of your neck and your shoulders. Hold it for a couple of seconds and bring it to the centre. And slowly repeat that across to the other side. And then bring it into the centre. And slowly, not quick, not big, just some little shoulder lifts, just to loosen out those muscles that you've stretched out. We're nearly, nearly finished now. So with me, if you can, bring your hands to the front and just rotate them around, forward and back. To loosen off your wrists, just make some small circles. And loosen off your fingers, just little pedals of the fingers, moving them back and forwards, getting the circulation going down into the fingers. We want to finish off to help you loosen out your lungs. So with me, have your arms crossed, only going halfway out, breathe in. And all the way back out. Three more if you can, slowly up. All the way down. Two left, breathe in. And all the way out, last one. All the way up. And down. So back to the shot to the wrists, just turn them in and out. Loosen the fingers. And then with me, bring the hands to the front, and after three, two, one, please have a massive round of applause. Well done, and thank you very much for your session. We'll see you again the next time. Thank you.